We are talking about wonder today and this week. I sometimes wonder how the children reacted who saw Jesus after his resurrection. If they might have also stood there and watched him ascend into heaven. It is children who display their excitement on their faces without holding back, who make their voices heard and whose eyes shine when they are happy. Their breathing changes and the pace and volume of their word conveys the absolute amazement when they encounter something or someone that captures the imagination and makes them stop as they look in fascination. It's as if everything stands still in that moment and they are just there. Body, mind, heart, the whole person present. This is the picture I get when the little ones went to Jesus before his death. Eye contact, listening attentively, speaking directly and asking questions, big eyes, openness, admiring hearts. This is my Jesus. And then of course also with those who saw when Jesus was taken to heaven with a cloud. It must have been something special to experience. Wow. To stand in awe is not only a gift we give to God as it leads us to worship Him, but also something we give ourselves. All makes us open to the discovery and experience of who God is in His creative and great almighty being. We observe with big engaging eyes at how He works in and around us. We open ourselves to be inspired and encouraged and to become more like this God who has no limits to how much He can do and how deeply He can love. With this God, there is hope. The little children around Jesus experienced it. Mary is told of this. The disciples are shown it. With this God we can dream and plan and know that we are capable of much more than we as humans can do alone. Stop and become fascinated again like a little child. Ask for that feeling of, can this actually be true? And laugh with a childlike laugh from the depths of your heart as joy overflows over you as you realize, wow, wow, wow. Yes, it can be. Yes, it is. This Jesus, God three in one, is real and he's our God. Jesus who ascended to heaven is already in heaven and with us. He reaches out to us. We can love the one who loves us so deeply. Go for a walk with your children and invite them to notice something that makes them feel wow. Watch YouTube videos about how big and beautiful the galaxy is and then realize again together that God made it all. Feel free to write your own version of Psalm 8 with things you see and experience that make you feel like the psalmist felt there. May you be overwhelmed by the beautiful and the good that God makes us and gives. May you become deeply aware of how great and yet close He is to you and your family. And may you look around and say, Wow, Lord, I stand in awe. Until next week, goodbye. <laughs>